Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafted by Norma. Today I'm going to continue on my search for things to do with the really large uh, wavy paper clips. Uh, these are the giant ones, the 76mm ones. Um, now I do know there's a company called Banner that uh, sell them uh, in office supplies. So uh, this is my idea. I'm sure uh, someone else has thought of this before me, but if just I'm just trying to think of all sorts of things that I could um, do with the paper clips. So these are the bigger ones, and I've also made some uh, some smaller ones. And basically, you, you just can't see the paper clip is uh, is the idea behind it, uh, if I'm honest. So it just clips onto a page in your journal um, or in on your writing pad, signature or whatever. So it just slides like that and then both sides have been uh, decorated and uh, you can uh, utilise them like that. So uh, as I say I've just used two different size paper clips so they're the smaller ones. You could obviously do teeny tiny ones as well uh, with the very very tiny ones. But I was looking at using these, uh, these big ones that my granddaughter uh, passed to me. A nice little bundle. So just to give you an, an idea of what you could possibly uh, do. As I say, it's, it's, someone else would have thought of it, I'm sure, because we're all running out of ideas now that uh, are sort of um, unique. So all I've gone and used for this is uh, a piece of photocopy paper, a piece of photocopy paper, uh, a piece of card, just a scrap card, really, um, Oh, excuse me. Piece of scrap card, uh, any card that uh, that you want, and then you can sort of decorate it. And then for the back of mine, I've just used some uh, old paper from a dictionary. So to start off with, we're just going to cut down a piece of ordinary photocopy paper, and all we do is slide on the paper clip as so. Okay, and then this is actually giving you the opening. I don't know if I can show you one of these, the back end, so you can't see the paper clip. And then all we're going to do, it's very, very simple. We're just going to glue the back piece on first. So just going to go like that, and we're just going to glue that down. Now, again, you can use whatever glue that you like. So for this one, just for quickness, I'm going to actually use a glue stick. So, let's just see how we get on with a glue stick. It's not my favourite medium, I must admit. But for paper to paper, I think we should be alright. This one's a bit old and gungy, shall we say. Okay, so we're going to put that on there. Like so. So, my older plastic card out. Pull that down like so. Okay. And then we're just going to fold over the top here because. I just don't want you to be able to see the, the paper clip at all. So as you can see on that one, there we've just gone and gone over the edge so it's the paper clip is uh, is hidden. Okay. And then we're going to just trim that off. Let's just move my, my glue stick out the way and get my trimmer. I use a trimmer because I can't cut straight, if I'm honest. I'm not very good with uh, with scissors. There we go. Oops. There we go. 
Okay. So that's our first part. Quite easy, quite simple. Okay. And then the second part, we're going to utilise a piece of uh, scrap card uh, to go just on the top, like so. Now for this, I must admit, I would rather use wet glue. So we'll have a go at using some wet glue. This is a new bottle that um, I'm using. My old one sort of given up the ghost a little bit. The nozzle's got to, a little bit too too wide. So I went to a cake decorating shop and I bought two of them. I think they were only £3 something or, or other. Went to a local one, not off, offline. I've tried my best, if I can, to support our little local businesses here on the, on the Wirral. Um, and I didn't realise that the nozzle bit is made of a, like a non-stick. So the glue just drops down to it. Up to now, touch wood, it hasn't got clogged up. So I'm well pleased. So they come in a pack of two, um, which is even better. And uh, I am so, so pleased. Okay, so that's glued down quite nice. And what we're going to do now is trim it down to that size. These are so easy to do. But as I say, it's just trying to find things that I can do with the um, with the paper clips and utilise them in my journals. And it's just using scraps again, which I'm sure we've all got somewhere along the line. Okay, so. I'm doing all right there, get rid of these bits. And then all I'm going to do is just the corners there with my corner punch. Now I have got two, this is the, the larger one, um, and then I've got a, a smaller one. Uh, as you can see, I've had the smaller one a long time. Ignore the five pound sticker, it's just stuck on by accident. So, I'm just going to go in there and punch that. Now if it doesn't punch quite the way around we can just trim it off. It's just that we've got four layers of paper and card in there. so And I haven't got the real strength in my thumb anymore. So I'll just trim that off like so. And go around the edges with some Distress ink, like so. And same on this, this bit here. Just like so. There we go, and that's one down. So the other one I was going to have a go at doing was uh, Tracy Fox does these little um, botanical uh, envelopes uh, from a, one of her digi kits, and I just thought well, I might just use utilise one of these for the smaller clips, just to show you. Why isn't that cutting up? Oh, covered in glue. So I thought I'd might have to have a I'll go at doing one of these for when I'm doing my uh, botanical journal. I've got a list of journals that I want to to do. A huge to do list. And I thought this would uh, be uh, quite good on one of the smaller ones. So I'll put that one on one side, put that little piece of paper there, I will, I will use it. And we're going to use that size clip this time. So we do exactly the same. So we've got a piece of photo paper. OK. 
Okay, so it doesn't need to be that long, does it really? So I'll just trim that down. And again, I'll use those bits. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is put the paper clip across. And we want a piece of piece of book that will do. Lovely. Now I'll keep I'll keep that word there for when I do my dark academia books. I quite like to keep in hold of uh, things like that. So again we'll have a go at using this uh, for the backing. Oh, let's do that. Just always remember to just read your paper if you are putting paper out of a book because sometimes um, there's words on there that you would uh, rather not use. Um, so always check it out. There we go. Try and get it from a, a safe source, so to speak. There we go, like that. And trim that one down. Oh, I have said I wasn't going to buy anything else. <gasps> um, I've treated myself to uh, a couple of bits. But it's only things I know really hand on heart that I will use. But I'm trying my best just to utilise all the things that I've got. Okay, now I'm making sure that that's the right way up. And it is. Okay. So again... I'll use my wet glue. There we go. Just put that onto there like so. Making sure as I say it's the right way up. And with this one I'm going to leave it square because it's the envelope shape and I didn't want to trim uh, down there too much. So I'm going to leave that one um, square. And then all you're going to do then is just decorate them if you want to or just leave them as they are. Um, it's entirely up to you. There we go. And if you want to make them pretty, you can make them pretty. If you want to make them grungy, you can make them grungy. The world is your oyster, as they say. Just get rid of those. So that basically is it. Um, and you can alter them, change them, um, have the format in a different way if you want to. You can utilise all the different size paper clips you uh, want um, but uh, for me it was just a way of utilising those paper clips 
so hope you have a go and I would love to see uh, any that uh, that you actually uh, make um, thank you for watching just a quickie today uh, if you haven't subscribed please do and thank you if you have subscribed we are way over the thousand uh, subscribers now so I am looking at doing something for when I get 1500 uh, subscribers because I unfortunately I was poorly um, and missed the 1000 um, subscribers uh, and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and uh, also check out my uh, Etsy shop. I will have bits and pieces, uh, I'll make little packets I think of all, all the ephemera and bits and pieces that I have been making. And uh, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.